Hi, I'd like to welcome uh, everyone to this special edition webinar live from the Forever Living Products home office here in Scottsdale, Arizona. My name is Dan Schwartz and I am the Director of Business Owner Development here in uh, the home office and it's my privilege and pleasure to uh, spend the next 15 or 20 minutes with you talking about how to do a product launch. You know, a product launch is the key to developing a sustainable for case credit business because it's with the product launch where we develop a client roster of those that will purchase the product, in many cases from retail, uh, on an ongoing basis. A successful for case credit active business requires 10, 15, sometimes 20 different uh, customers who purchase the product regularly on a monthly basis and consume the product. It's not just for a retail business, however, it's also an opportunity to prospect for new potential business owners. So the product launch is a very important part of a successful forever business. So you say to yourself, what is a launch? When you say a launch, what do you mean? Well, a launch is many things. Uh, it is primarily the opportunity for you to share your favorite products with other people. You know, we all uh, have our favorite products in the product catalog. They're all great, but some of us favor uh, a select group of products that we use every day and that we're very enthusiastic about. Those are the products that you should share with others at a product launch. A product launch can take anywhere from, you know, 30 to 45 minutes. And, uh, it's an opportunity for people to try the product. It's an opportunity for people to purchase the product. And uh, uh, I just want to use one note of caution here. I've, I've put down here to introduce the forever opportunity. That is not to present the forever opportunity, and there's a difference. Uh, when you're inviting people to uh, discuss product, uh, you want to make sure that that's what you discuss. You don't want people to feel like somehow you've shifted gears and shifted the topic and you're now introducing an opportunity and delivering a forever business opportunity presentation to them because I, I quite frankly feel like that would be uh, people might feel like they had been uh, deceived so it's important in this product launch to focus on the products uh, which is what of course you invited people to do the uh, the product launch is something that quite frankly you can do anytime our most successful business owners do them as a normal part of their routine. It's uh, whether it's weekly, every other week, every month, you decide the frequency. But product launches can be done during the day for those that, uh, that uh, either have a you know, part-time schedule and have time during the day. It can be done in the evenings. It can be done on the weekends. The important thing is that you do them. And uh, for those of you who are relatively new business owners, you do them as soon as possible. These product launches are a very important part of jump-starting your business and uh, getting you the experience with the product that you need to gain the confidence to be able to, uh, to run a successful business. I put on here uh, only half-jokingly, what are you doing tomorrow? Because you, you could literally do one of these tomorrow. Uh, it just takes uh, a couple of people. You can do it with one person, two, three, ten, twenty. It depends on uh, you know the the location and your ability to get people together. But uh, product launches can be uh, uh, of varying sizes, varying locations, etc. Uh, any opportunity you have to present uh, these uh, fine products to other people would be considered a product launch. Well, let's talk for just a minute about how to have an effective launch. Um, it's, a, it's a very effective technique to choose a partner, one or two other business owners. Perhaps it's the person that sponsored you. Perhaps it's uh, one or two people that you have sponsored. But when you have a partner, uh, you have somebody that can, you can encourage you and uh, support you, help to carry some of the load of, uh, of the meeting itself, as well as to increase the number of people that are invited to this particular meeting. I say choose a theme, and what I mean by that is uh, there's a lot of products in the catalog that are worth talking about, but I don't think there's enough time in 30 to 45 minutes to cover them all. So you need to narrow your focus to those products that I think, quite frankly, you have the most enthusiasm for. You know, one theme might be 
uh, Clean 9, and you're going to focus on the Clean 9 and Fit products. Uh, so weight management would be the theme for uh, a product launch like that. Perhaps you want to focus more on general nutrition, and you, uh, you're a Vital 5 user, and you have enjoyed and realized the benefits of uh, maintaining um, your base nutrition over a number of months, and you have a great deal of enthusiasm for Vital 5. Vital 5 is a great theme for a product launch. You could do a product launch on personal care products, on cosmetics, the Sony and Flawless lines. You could do a product launch on essential oils. You choose the, uh, the products that you're most uh, enthusiastic about. That's, that's probably a pretty good theme to start. When I say choose a location, it could be at your home. It could be at one of your partner's homes. Um, it could be at a, uh, a local library that has a, uh, a room for rent. I know uh, I've heard of uh, uh, different business owners using uh, public spaces, that rooms they can rent for $25 or $30 an hour. Those are very effective. Uh, if you live in a larger area where you have a regional sales director, you can talk to your regional sales director about possibly scheduling a Bring a Friend event, which is a larger scale uh, product launch that's done uh, in a hotel. Uh, that, so there's some other costs associated with it, but those costs are spread across uh, many business owners in that case and perhaps even the, uh, the budget of your uh, RSD. But uh, the location is uh, less important than that it's centrally located for the people that you're trying to invite. You want to make it something that uh, everybody can get to relatively easily. You want to make sure and order products and uh, to both sample uh, as well as to display. Uh, you want to light up your social network. Let everybody know on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest that you have a product launch scheduled and give them the details of that product launch. Now, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll warn you, I don't think you're going to, going to get a lot of people that show up from just a posting on Facebook. You have to look at this as more of an advertising way, a way of raising awareness of what you're doing and of the products that you're selling. The, uh, the real power in uh, getting people to attend your product launch comes on the last bullet on this page, and that is to personally contact everybody on your first steps to manage your contact list. So use your social network to advertise and promote to raise awareness but pick up the phone and call people to actually make the invitation. Now when you make the invitation um, it's important that uh, you don't put unnecessary pressure on people. You want to keep this light and uh, keep it uh, a fun conversation, a friendly conversation that you're going to get together and have a great time and share, share some great products with them. Um, I put down here that uh, how you say something may actually be more important than what you say. You know, some of our most successful business owners, I've heard several of them say it in several different ways, but they say that people can hear the smile in your voice. And that's a very important thing to keep in mind here when you're inviting somebody to a product launch. You want to keep it light, keep it enjoyable, and uh, make people uh, feel comfortable in coming as opposed to something that they, that might uh, feel pressured to uh, to come to. And then, of course, remind them the morning of or uh, the day before. Uh, we have busy lives, and uh, we don't want to, uh, sometimes people forget. So being able to reach out with a quick text, a quick Facebook post, a direct message, phone call, just to remind people that uh, the product launch is today or it's tomorrow is very helpful. Now what you'll need to conduct this product launch, uh, we suggest that you get some uh, product catalogs. They can be ordered from your uh, FBO site and uh, as well there's a price list that you can download via PDF and print off so you'd have a few copies of the price list. You might want to bring one or two of your favorite packs to display. So a Vital 5, a Clean 9, perhaps an Essential Oils bundle, uh, and then products that you can sample. So oils are very good to sample. Um, products like uh, Propolis Cream, Aloe Vera Jelly. Um, a number of people have had success uh, kind of mixing a drink of Aloe Vera Gel with some fruit juice and maybe some club soda, so making something that's kind of light and refreshing. That always works as well. You'll want to, uh, if you can, have uh, some internet connections available. Uh, people that have mobile phones that have uh, 
data plans obviously have an internet connection. And they can reach our foreverliving.com mobile site where they can shop and join via their phone. Um, but not everybody has a smartphone, and, uh, and sometimes uh, people want to see a little bit bigger display. And so if you have the ability at your product launch to have a Wi-Fi connection and have a laptop or even an iPad where people can uh, join, people can, uh, can place orders, that would be very helpful. And this, this last bullet is very important that you have uh, either a business card or a postcard, some type of uh, material that people can take with them that has your FBO ID number. Because obviously if they're going to make a purchase from the retail site, uh, you'll want to get credit for that purchase. You'll also want to, uh, uh, them to have that so if they choose to join to get Novus pricing and then become uh, business owners that, that they have your ID so they can link up with you. And I'll suggest one other thing that's not written on this slide. I think it's very important that you um, be prepared to uh, share with people your, um, your Facebook, your Twitter, your Instagram, um, handles so that they can uh, friend you, follow you, and uh, connect because this is a great opportunity to grow your social network as well. So uh, that's what you do in advance of the launch. Now when it time, comes time to conduct the launch, be very gracious. You know, we have busy lives. And for somebody to take time out of their busy life and to spend it with us talking about Forever Products, is uh, it's, it's, it's an honor, quite frankly, that they would it's a, it's a tribute to uh, to you as their friend or associate or somebody that they trust. It's a tribute to uh, our company and our products. And so be gracious and thank them. I put share your story because, you know, most of us have come to forever uh, through the products. Uh, and, if, and if it wasn't through the products, we've had good experience with the products to the point that we, uh, we look better, we feel better. That passion that comes from personal experience is the most powerful tool that you have. That, that uh, passion of personal experience will keep people engaged and will give people a reason to act, a reason to order, a reason to follow up. Be prepared to pass the products around to allow people to try it. Fact tells, passion sells. So. I know you, you have to know something about the product. You have to know a few things that make the Forever product unique. The fact that, uh, that our aloe vera gel is uh, the, the, uh, the finest, purest, um, richest aloe vera gel that they'll find in any store, anywhere, in any place, any marketplace. Um, that we uh, grow it uh, ourselves, process it ourselves. Those are some of the facts that would be helpful, but uh, your passion is going to be more important, I think, in many cases than the actual facts that you share. The word smile appears three times on this slide, and the reason is uh, this should be a fun thing. This should be enjoyable for everybody. So that's why we say it should be, you know, 30 to 45 minutes. It shouldn't be too long. You should narrow your focus to three to five products. And you should uh, share your story about how it's improved your life. Um, if you do those things, uh, you can have fun with it and allow other people to enjoy uh, your brief time together as well. You're, uh, you're hoping, obviously, to, uh, to gain them as customers, to gain them as new business owners in your, uh, in your sales team. Uh, but you're also teaching uh, other people how to do the business. Uh, this is a fun business. It should be a fun business, and you should enjoy yourself and uh, let others see you enjoying your business. So after having uh, introduced the product, it's now time to close up the meeting. Uh, thank everybody for their support. Help them uh, place uh, their orders on your phone, their phone, your web connection, uh, your laptop. Uh, some people will say, hey, you know what? I've got a sister. I've got a brother. I've got a friend and neighbor. Who would really be interested in this. Now is the time to take out your calendar and to schedule those meetings with these people. Um, you'll also find that people will approach you and they'll ask you about the business. They'll ask you, uh, is it, you do this part-time, full-time, uh, you know, what kind of flexibility do you have? Do you have an office? Uh, you know, do you make a living at this? Any of those types of questions, these people are revealing themselves 
as potential FBOs. These are the people that, again, you'd want to take out your calendar and schedule within the next couple of days a business opportunity presentation to, uh, to answer their questions and to, uh, to help them make a good decision. So having had that uh, launch meeting, wrap things up, hopefully you've had some good sales, some, uh, you've introduced people to uh, some terrific products and uh, in some cases an opportunity. The next thing you need to do is to do it again. As I started off this webinar suggesting this needs to be a regular, ongoing part of your business process. The more you do product launches, the more you'll enjoy them and the more effective you'll become at them. So please make this part of your business building routine. Oh, and one more thing before I forget. Um, Forever Living products are outstanding. They, uh, they help fortify the body to, to do what the body does naturally. And uh, what we don't want to do, however, is to position them as being medicine for people who have illness or disease. So uh, just to be careful that we don't uh, play doctor, that we don't act as though we're prescribing our outstanding products to treat disease because that's not what we're in the business of doing. So we have great products that stand on their own. Uh, we don't need to make claims that go beyond uh, the uh, wonderful health benefits, the natural health benefits that they provide to people. They stand on their own and uh, we don't need to play doctor. So with that, I'm going to conclude and um, suggest to all of you that you make product launches a regular and ongoing part of your business building routine. That you, uh, that you build your retail uh, business to contribute to your four case credit requirement on a monthly basis. That you use this as your primary prospecting tool to identify new potential business owners. I know that if you'll do this, uh, and especially for those of you who are new, do it soon, uh, you'll find that it's a, uh, a very important and very productive way to grow your forever business. So with that, I'm going to wish everybody the best of luck. I hope to see or talk to you all soon, and I wish you the best of success in your efforts to grow your business. Take care, everyone.